Hello everyone, my name is Sasha Hein and today I'm going to answer the question which ring flash is best for ReLab? So our customers often ask us which equipment is best suitable for the ELAP system. Besides a DSLR camera and a suitable macro lens, the type of flash and in particular the illumination it provides is of paramount importance for the ELAP system. In dental photography, two types of flash systems are in frequent use. There is a lateral flash and the ring flash. While the comparative pros and cons will be discussed in a separate video, today I would like to focus on the ring flash. There are obviously lots of different ring flashes available from lots of different manufacturers, with the most notable difference being price. It is virtually impossible to test them all, but we are focused on a selection of eight ring flashes which are most commonly used in dental photography today. So, let's take a look at our eight candidates ranked by their most notable feature, which of course is price. Ranging from 255 to a whopping 510 euro, we find the Canon MR14EX, the Sigma EM140DG, the Nissan MF18, and the Metz 15MS1. Now, I should mention that Sigma has discontinued the 140DG, and this has been my personal favorite for many years. And I have used this with great joy and great pleasure. It's a very sturdy build flash, but unfortunately no longer available. But this has sparked my interest in making this video in the first place. In the middle and lower field, from 255 to 85 euro, we find the Wallimax Pro TTL, the Yungnoa YN14EX, the KF Concept 150 TTL, and lastly, the Mikey MK14 EXT. Besides price, another way of comparing these ring flashes objectively with each other is by looking at their flash output. And this is of particular relevance for the ELAP protocol since correct image exposure presents a critical factor for ensuring accurate color metric quantification and hence successful clinical outcomes. The most common way of comparing the flash output between different flashes is by their guide number. However, guide numbers are not exact measures of light power or intensity, but rather a formula based on distance. So I was interested in comparing them by their relative illuminance, measured with a fairly large integrating sphere, and also by their luminance, measured in line, which best represents the ideal working distance used both clinically and in the lab. Both measurements were carried out with a Siconic C700 spectrometer. While it has to be said that all of the tested ring flashes are absolutely suitable for the ELAP system, there were notable differences in their performance, although the values listed here should be taken as approximate values and valid only as indicators for orders of magnitude. So let's look at illuminance first. Illuminance is the total luminous flux incident on a surface per unit area. It is thus the light falling on a surface. This is typically quantified with an integrating sphere, which provides homogeneous distribution of the light at the spheres in a surface. Illuminance is typically expressed in lux, which is lumens per square meter, or in foot candles, which is lumens per square foot. When we look at the results for illuminance, we notice quite distinct and surprising differences. The Mikey MK14 EXT scores the highest with about 5,800 lux, whereas the METS 15 MS1 came in lowest at 1,540 lux, which is more than three times less than the Mikey. All tested flash units showed fairly high values for the color rendering index CRI with an average value of 96.7. Now, one word about the color rendering index. The expression color rendering refers to the way in which various light sources influence or render the color appearance of objects. However, all of the tested ring flashes make use of some sort of pulse xenon tube, which generally produces extreme intense full spectrum white light. And that makes xenon a suitable and frequent choice for many photospectrometers. Moreover, 
modern chromatic adaptation transforms, together with color appearance models, are a much better suited approach for predicting the color of an object under varying light sources. All in all, the practical importance of the CRI is often a little bit overrated. Let's move on and take a look at luminance. Luminance is a photometric measure of the luminous intensity per unit area of light traveling in a given direction. It is thus the total amount of light reflected by a surface. For our purpose, each ring flash was mounted perpendicular to the detector of the Siconic C700 spectrometer, with a fixed distance of 25 centimeters. Each flash was connected to a PeakTech steady DC power supply, and triple measurements were taken with and without polarize. Overall, the results correlate well with the previous illuminance measurements, but with one major exception, and that is the METS 15 MS1. This time it came in among the top four brightest ring flashes tested. The METS has a fairly tightly focused beam angle, which very efficiently directs the comparative little radiant power it has to where it is needed the most. The average color temperature for all tested flashes was around 6000 Kelvin, and the polar eyes only slightly pushed this value down to 5800 Kelvin. It did, however, attenuate the illuminance to an average value of about 36%. So which one is the best ring flash for ELAB? As mentioned already, all tested ring flashes are absolutely suitable for the ELAB system. But as far as price performance is concerned, you cannot beat the Mikey MK14 EXT. It was by far the least expensive ring flash tested with the highest flash output. Its design and usability are strikingly similar to the current Canon speedlights. And that means it is super easy to use with very familiar handling. For me, the runner-up for the second place would be the METS 15 MS1 macro ring light for a number of reasons. While it is three times the price of the Mikey, it is still decently priced for a high quality flash. But above all, it is by far the lightest of all tested flashes with just 212 grams, including the batteries. Moreover, it is not only wireless, but also extremely versatile. It can be used with any DSLR camera system, including Nikon, Canon, Sony, Fuji, Pentax, or whatever. But truth be told, setting up the wireless connection with your camera is a fiddly affair. You need to patiently study the user's manual, and not only that of the METS, but also of your DSLR camera. However, there's a trick. If you have spent a bit of cash on your camera, it should come with a SYNC cord jack that allows you to attach your METS ring flash directly to your camera with just one tiny cable. And if your camera didn't come with this feature, then you should be able to just simply purchase a hot shoe adapter for less than five bucks, which will do the exact same trick. Another thing to pay particular attention to is to remove the clear plastic cover the METS comes with. Although it's perfectly clear, it has been designed to produce a softer light by hampering with a tight beam focus, and that can severely diminish its power output, especially when you use Polarize. So there you have it. Price isn't everything, and you can get a really good ring flash, which is perfectly suitable for the ELAB system at a bargain price. In my next video, I'm going to look at the pros and cons of a lateral flash versus a ring flash. So thanks very much for watching, and please don't forget to visit our webpage www.elabprime.com for more information on the ELAB system.